So it's Memorial Day here at uh, Temple Valley Beth Shalom in Encino, California, and they're having a ceremony uh, with a number of uh, uh, veterans, uh, Jewish war veterans and other veterans here in commemoration of Memorial Day. People are filing out here with uh, Warren Weinstein. Uh, did you pronounce it Weinstein or? Stein. Weinstein. What, what was your experience in uh, the military service? Are you a Jewish war veteran? I was. Uh, I served in the Air Force. I was a first lieutenant. I flew B-17s, SA-16s, and B-29s in an air rescue outfit. I was based in both Panama and Bermuda, and um, I served from 1950 on active duty to 54. I was in the uh, active reserves from 54 to 62. And what's this group Wings Over Wendy's you belong to? It's a veterans group. Everybody in there were veterans of the Second World War, Korean War, Vietnam War. And now we're starting to get some younger men in there from uh, the Gulf Wars. Um, we meet every Monday morning at Wendy's on Ventura Boulevard. And it's just a group to get together. We do things, uh, have fun. They have a raffle every Monday morning. It's just veterans getting together, meeting veterans and having lunches and just having a good time. Is everyone there from the Air Force? No, no, all services. Uh, we have it from the Air Force, Army, Navy, uh, the Coast Guard. Uh, it, it covers the Marines, it covers everybody. What are your thoughts on this Memorial Day when you, uh, you see the way that uh, America is uh, very uh, uh, short memoried uh, for getting our history? Do you think about that? All the time. Um, we've gone to schools um, around the uh, San Fernando Valley talking to these young people. Some of them don't even know anything about Korea or the Second World War. And these are teenagers, and that bothers us a lot, that they don't know their history of this country. And the men and women gave up their lives so that they can have the kind of education they have and the freedom in this country. Do you think... Is it there's some uh, liberal bias in the people who are forming the curriculum to uh, not emphasize uh, American nationalism? I do. I think that uh, government has turned more liber liberal than ever before, and they're just not teaching the young people the things that we learned in school when I went in the uh, 40s, uh, 30s and 40s, actually. What if, uh, if people are talking about uh, Korea and, and uh, China as if... Um, America's military uh, should not be engaged uh, in the future. It should be the the, the last resort. Is, uh, is peace achievable without strength? No, no. Uh, we found out, and uh, President Reagan uh, actually found out uh, in his regime that uh, you have peace when you have strength. No one wants to take on a big guy, a bully. And... Um, we're getting back to that era again with uh, President Trump, I think. And we're finding out that they know that we're strong. We won't back down. And the thing is that that's why I think they will have negotiations with North Korea and we will strengthen our relationships with China. What do you think about so much uh, liberalism within the Jewish community, Jewish Americans these days, especially vis-a-vis -vis the necessary defense of uh, the only democracy in the Middle East? I'm very disturbed that 81% of our people, the Jews, voted for uh, Barack Obama and that um, they're just very liberal. We find a lot of our Jewish liberals here in government and everything. And I just feel that um, they just uh, don't see the whole picture. I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed that our fellow Jews are not participating, participating more in finding out the other side of the picture. And of course, you know, in the Middle East, uh, it's, a, it's surprising. It's okay, it's okay, keep talking. Oh, it's surprising that uh, they don't realize that if Israel ever was to be captured or go down, that the uh, freedom in the Middle East will go away. That the, the, the Middle East and perhaps the balance of power in the world? Possibly, yes. Possibly, yes. With Turkey and Iran now? Uh, I'm surprised <laughs> Turkey recently turned against Israel, and Iran has never been a friend of Israel uh, since the Shah. 
and uh, those are two disturbing things as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there could, in the future, possibly be hostilities between Iran and Israel if they continue to develop that uh, 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 nuclear weapons. Are your sentiments, I know, among uh, wings under, uh, over Wendy's, unlike the Jewish war veterans, you're in the minority there, but how are Jews regarded among uh, American war veterans, you know, like veterans of foreign wars, American Legion? Well, first of all, um, we're not really, a, we're, we're a good mixture of Jewish men and women at uh, Wings Over Wendy's. But I will say that uh, veterans of foreign wars, American Legion, I wanted to join one of the outfits where I lived previously before coming to the Valley. I was told that they don't like my kind there. I found the same thing, though, in the military. I found the military while I was in was very anti-Semitic. And that's what killed my career. I was thinking of maybe becoming a career officer, um, but because of the anti-Semitism, I left the military after my uh, four years uh, service was up. In what way did the anti-Semitism affect you? It disturbed me completely. Uh, I was singled out uh, as a Jewish officer. I was given details that I should never have had, and uh, I just uh, it just bothered me that you know, I, I, had, I did have support from my fellow officers, but the commanding officer where I was in uh, Panama, uh, he was as anti-Semitic as uh, anybody could get. An American uh, Air Force commander? Yes, yes, but that's not unusual because we find that there's anti-Semitism in all the three major uh, school, m military schools, the Air Force Academy, West Point, and Annapolis. So it's, it's not unusual to come across this. Many other veterans that are Jewish and black will tell you about their discrimination also in the military. So people would imagine that uh, if it's against blacks, um, it, it may be more, uh, more obvious, but uh, against Jews, do you suppose it's still uh, a, a dynamic there? I do. Uh, maybe not as much as it was in the past, but I still believe that, yes, there's a lot of anti-Semitism in the uh, military. And it comes from the uh, top uh, on down and filters on down from our commanding offices, both in the Pentagon and out in the field. Uh -huh. To what extent do you feel that that influences, that that, that uh, 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 element in the Pentagon influences the way that uh, the American military uh, interacts and regards the Israeli military? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's different. They're dealing with the government, not an individual. And I think that they look at Israel and they know that uh, Israel has been a very strong um, ally with uh, the United States. We give them more uh, information, secret information, uh, and they know that they, we're the, uh, Israel is the front line of defense in the Middle East. Without Israel, they would not have the information uh, on their enemies there that they have today. And so they deal with it differently than uh, dealing with an individual. Uh -huh. uh, if the United States, let me rephrase, if Israel needed to engage uh, Hezbollah, uh, maybe Turkey, Iran, uh, in a military way. Uh, obviously, uh, Iran has a much larger army than Israel. Would America be justified in supporting her ally in the Middle East? Absolutely. They would not put troops on the ground, but they would give Israel all the help that they would need as far as uh, material things, airplanes, guns, ammunition. The Israelis want to fight their own war. They don't want the help uh, of the Americans with boots. Um, and I think, I'm sure, in fact, that they will both destroy those countries. It's not the number of troops that a country has. It's the way you interact with those troops and with the weapons that Israel has. A, a million men in the army in uh, Iran against uh, the several hundred thousand that the Israelis have, one good daisy bomb could take care of most of them. They know that Israel is a very valuable asset and ally to the, uh, to the Americans. And there would be more chaos and possibly more wars if it wasn't for Israel in the Middle East.